Today I'm testing out a product that is a picnic table that can supposedly fold all the way down to the size of a suitcase. It just arrived in the mail, I have no idea how it works, so let's find out in today's video. And before I go over the details, let's crack this open and see what's in the box. We have some instructions, that's good. First impression, it's a pretty big suitcase. The aluminum parts seem pretty flimsy, the tabletop not too bad, and Bailey's interested in what's in there. What do you think, Bailey? What's in there? All right, I'm looking at these instructions over. There's not much to it. Step one, unlatch it. Step two, lay it upside down and pull out the leg frames. Now, I don't really want to get this face down on the rock, so I'm going to put it on the box. All right, here we go. All right, this is what I'm seeing so far. Uh, so far, so good, I guess. Here we go. For the last step, I've got this safety lever you're supposed to press inward. I think we're locked and loaded. Well, what do you think? It, it was pretty easy to assemble. Of course, we haven't sat in it yet. Uh, let me just inspect this a little bit before I uh, before I sit in it. I should point out I paid 75 bucks for this. It usually runs from 75 to 120. Uh, it's mostly made of aluminum with ABS connectors. Reviews online are pretty good for it, but it's it, a little bit mixed. Some people say it's flimsy, but some people say that it doesn't really matter if it's flimsy as long as it's so portable. Each seat can hold up to 220 pounds. The table itself can hold 66. And I think I'm ready to try this out. Hopefully it doesn't collapse. Here we go. Hey, what's holding me? It's holding me. I mean, it's not the most stable picnic table ever, but it's better than no picnic table, I guess. I mean, as you can see, it's it's <laughs> it's a little wobbly. I wouldn't get too crazy with it. But if you're camping, it, it certainly would be serviceable. I don't know if a tablecloth is really doable on this. I was wondering if you could put a tablecloth in here, but you got this middle part, so I don't know, maybe you could. Maybe you could, Pro probably not, but I, I tried, right? A couple other features, it does have in a hole for umbrellas. If you've got an umbrella, you can put it there. I don't have one to test out. It comes in two colors, silver and blue, and I believe this is the silver, even though it has blue connectors. I think the blue one has a different color blue, so you might have kind of dark blue uh, trim and light blue connectors, I don't know. It's also listed as a frequently returned item on Amazon, which might dissuade some people from wanting to buy it. It seems solid enough to, to work though. If each seat can hold up to 220 pounds, I think that will handle most people. If you're over 220, you might be out of luck. I guess the next thing to try here is let's try folding this back up and shove it in my trunk and see how that works. It's pretty light though. It's not that heavy, easy to carry. Folding up seems actually pretty easy. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be easy or not, but you know what, that's pretty easy. All right, one more test here. I'm gonna do the speed round now that I've gone through it once. Let me see how fast I can actually set it up now that I've done it once. All right, 57 seconds to assemble, not too bad. I'm gonna try putting this away and see how long that takes. Starting to stopwatch now. Just under 50 seconds. So it looks like to assemble it, about a minute, or maybe a little bit less. To pack it back up, uh, even less than that. So it's a little bit flimsy. For what it's being used for, I don't think the flimsiness matters too much. So I actually kind of like it. I'm gonna go shove this in the trunk and see how it actually fits. All right, so it does fit in the trunk. It fit pretty easily, actually. I got plenty of room. So I left it in there overnight, and today I'm taking it on a little field test. 
A lot of times in the morning when the weather's nice, I'll go to the park and I'll read for a little bit. But I gotta sit on those dirty public park benches. Today I don't have to. I brought my own with me, so let's see how that goes. We got a nice spot kind of away from everybody else. I got my own table right here. I'm liking this, except for that loud truck over there. But I digress. Most of the benches are way over there where everybody else is at. I'm over here by myself, enjoying my own table. Well, didn't do much reading, but a little bit. But so far, so good. But now it's time for lunch, and I'm gonna do that elsewhere. lunchtime. All right, so I'm going to have my lunch here and then I will give you my final conclusion. Oh, the camera's still on. I'll come back in a few minutes when I'm done eating. That's it as far as this table goes. It takes about a minute to set it up, maybe less than a minute to take it back down. I think it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's, it's not the sturdiest table ever, but it's sturdy enough to hold me. It's a little bit squeaky, as you can hear the squeaking going on. It's a little bit rickety. I think for 75 bucks, it's not really that bad of a deal. I mean, I don't know if 120 is, is that great, but 75 doesn't seem too bad. I decided to move the table one more time to enjoy this nice sunny day we're having here in Las Vegas. But regarding the table itself, I mean, I kind of like it, honestly. My only concern is that if you're very large, whether that be tall or, or wide, it may not be a good fit for you. It's a little bit flimsy. I think if you start adding a lot of weight, it'll be even extra flimsy. But for a couple of adults, or especially for kids, I think it will work quite well. I like how portable it is. You can fold it up, put it in a suitcase size, put it in your trunk, put it in your RV, and you can take it anywhere with you. So I do like that about it. Will it hold up over time? That is the question, and I'm gonna keep using this. And I will let you know if anything changes. But that's all I've got. If you've tried this table or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.